Great morning, guys. Coming to you with another morning devotion today. Um, and today, it's going to be called Give It to Christ. Give it to Jesus, right? Give it to Christ or give it to Jesus, whatever you guys want to title it for yourselves. And basically, we're just going to be talking briefly about the concept of giving your problems to Jesus. <clears throat> giving it all back to Him. You know, so many times in life, we want to take things into our own hands. We want to take things into our own consideration. We want to handle our problem ourselves. We want to feel the sense of, hey, I'm good enough to take care of that. Or, hey, I can, I can do this, right? But what's so important is in life is that we get away from the I's and the me's and the us's. And we focus on him and we give him all the glory. His word says to boast, you know, don't boast in yourselves, but boast in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what it teaches us, not to boast in ourselves, but boast in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and I want to make it very practical today. What I'm saying is like, let's say you have, <clears throat> maybe your prayer is you want to have a better relationship with your parents. You don't like all the arguments that happen. You don't like all of the, the things that all of the back and forth. One minute you're like, oh, praise Jesus, I love you, Lord. The next minute you're fighting with your mother, which is, or your father, or your grandparents, which is, it shows that your heart isn't fully sold out for Christ. Because if it was, you would have that honor and respect that God wants you to have for them. So I say all that to say this, you know, maybe it's that you're trusting God for. You're trusting God for a better relationship with family, right? We try to take it into our own hands. We say, oh yeah, I'm going to buy them this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start. They've been telling me clean my room. I'm going to start cleaning my room. I'm going to start. Uh, uh, I'll start cleaning the house. And I'll do things pleasing unto them. And then somehow when you do those things, it just happens to fail. And they're like, oh, why didn't you do this this way, right? Not that they're being overly picky. But because you haven't given it to Jesus, something happens to go wrong. You see, you can work as hard as you want. There's only so far you can go without God. There's only so far you can go without God. Unless you've decided completely to walk away from him and you've decided that you're going to hell, right? If you have some sense of God in your life, if you have a belief that Jesus is real and he died for your sins upon that cross, you cannot just live in disobedience to his word live in disobedience to his commandments live in disobedience to what he told us to do so a crucial part of moving forward this year is giving it all to jesus that means obeying what he said that means treating others as they should be treated that means not being worried about our situations and our circumstance but you do your part and let god do his a part of yesterday's devotion is it you know sometimes when you're lifting a weight the weight feels so heavy at the moment and you're doing so many reps and it feels like your arms might give out. Sometimes life hits you so hard, you feel like you, your arms are going to give out, your legs are going to give out. You just can't do another one. You just can't do, do another rep, another set. It's just too much. Some days you wake up, you just don't feel like working out. But the benefit is in those days when you don't feel like it, you do it anyway. That's when you get the real gain. So God is looking at you. Her deacon in church, when he preaches, he said, uh, I believe it was him who made the analogy that God or, or the teacher is always quiet during the test. He's always quiet during the test. Maybe this part of your life <clears throat> is a test. He wants to see how faithful you're going to be in this. So he's ready to bless you with more. He, he's willing to bless you with more, ready to bless you with more. But are you going to be faithful in this situation? Let's say you're praying for five to ten things. You're praying for better family. You're praying for a relationship. You're praying for a good job. You're praying for a good career. You're praying for money, right? Maybe he wants to see how you handle your relationship with your mom first before he blesses you with a girlfriend or boyfriend. You're holding up your own blessing. Maybe he wants to see how you handle your relationship with people before he blesses you with a career that involves dealing with people and making a lot of money. Maybe you've been wanting a certain role in your church, but God has been holding back your leaders from giving you that role because of your unfaithfulness in, in smaller situations. Guys, there's so many reasons and, and rationales as to why God would not bless you with something. And on the other side of it, there's so many reasons why he wants to bless you with something. But it takes giving it all to him. You do your part, give it all to him. I'll tell you this, before I got married, listen, there was a lot of things I had to get together. There was a lot of things I had to get together. 
I was praying, God, I want to get married. God, I want to get, God, I want to do this. God, I want to be this. But it took years of me fixing my life. And then the blessing came. Years of me fixing my life. And then it happened. One day things just started going my way. After years of correcting things. After hours and hours of listening to, to sermons in my ears. Not playing worldly music, but listening to sermons. Not playing anything but worship. Preaching. Not just worship also. If you think that you can only play just worship. Oh, I'm giving it all to Jesus. And you're playing just worship. And there's no word going into you. I'm not just talking about a verse a day. Listen to a sermon, guys. Listen to a sermon from a good teacher, a good preacher. Message me if you don't know what good preachers and good teachers are. Because some of you have been listening to some sermons from some... Uh, I don't want to say wackos, because if they're preaching Jesus, I, I pray for them, right? That they, they continue preaching him. But from some interesting characters, let's just say that. Give it all to Jesus. He can fix your problems. He can fix your family. He can do it. You say, well, I, Stefan, I trusted him once and it didn't happen yet. Yeah, you trusted him for like five minutes or you trusted him for like a week. <laughs> Give him at least two, three years. Listen, if your family has been broken... You feel the devil has broken up your family and it's happened over five to ten years of fighting and, and all of this. What's one week of you trusting God? God can do it. But you're, you personally won't be ready to receive a blessing that can reverse five to ten years in one week. Most likely you receive your blessing. Then forget about God altogether. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So my encouragement to you today is, on this devotion, give it all to Jesus. Be ready to be ready and willing to make changes in your life. Be ready to pray more. Be ready to read your word more. Be ready to change some things in your life, to change sins and bad, bad habits in your life. Be ready to, to, to hear from, if you're really willing to change, and your youth leader or your pastor tells you to change something and you don't change it because, oh, I don't think they're right, well, great. Your thinking has got you where you are in life today. Their thinking has got them where they are in life today. So whose thinking should you listen to? Yours who has you where you are? Or theirs who has them where they are? God is appointed as leaders in a ministry. Just a side note. Just a side note, right? Solomon said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is he. So guys, I pray that you have a blessed day today. That was today's devotion. Give it all to Jesus. Let's pray and then hopefully we can enjoy another one tomorrow. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Lord, we worship you. Holy is your name. Hallowed be your name. Lord, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice today, every burden, every worry, every disruption in family, every addiction be broken, Lord God, that they would give it all to you. They would leave sin and turn to you, the author and the, the, the finisher of our faith. Lord, you are the way maker, our promise keeper, our light in the darkness. Be a light in their dark situation right now. That everyone listening to this today, this devotion, this prayer, that their lives would be changed immediately. That they would see immediate turnaround. Lord, that right now it may be the midnight hour, but we know that you work in the midnight hour and that you turn every situation around. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, have a blessed day. God bless you. Take care.